All right, so let's accuse him of being the one threatening Virgil. No idea what you're talking about. Oh, I want to make a fucking bet? I know it was you. I found an incomplete letter to him in your quarters. Yes, so what? What are you going to do about it? I'll ask you to stop threatening him. I'm going to hurt you badly. I'm going to ask you to stop hurt threatening and him. And why should I? The one true God oh boy. says that for man to lie with another man What's up, Camaro lover? is an abomination. His presence here is a, a threat to us all. If that's true, why hasn't the golden rule been broken already? Uh, well, Asshole. I don't know. Look at his eyes. Maybe God <laughs> hasn't noticed yet. But when he does, we're going to have a problem. Only I seven it to the dollar fifty, wondering if things will pick up like support wise in February. I mean, whenever there's new games, you get new eyes on the content, the streams, the videos, and yes, usually it brings an influx of support. So, not that I'm a hundred percent depending on it, but you know, it would be great to have new people around and, and coming back for games that maybe they've been waiting for for a very long time. I could definitely see that happening. So, <clears throat> okay, so. Seems to be your agitation is a bigger threat than Virgil's personal affairs. But the gods of Rome don't care about homosexuality. Why would they care about Virgil? Huh. Wait a minute. We might expose him as a Christian. There is only one true God. Ah. And he laid waste to Sodom and Gomorrah. Because of exactly this kind of thing. Who was it that said, do unto others as you would have them do unto you? How do you think the magistrate would react if he knew you were a cultist? I don't like where this is going. Leave Virgil alone or I'll out you to everyone. I have no idea what you're talking about. Ha <laughs> ha! And unless you want your jaw broken, I think it's best if you don't ever talk to me again. So did it work or no? I have nothing to say to you, Kaput Magda. So I don't know if that worked or not. I actually don't think it did. I tried threatening him, but I don't know if it worked. Let's see. Now, persuade Rufius to stop threatening Virgil and figure out how to stop Virgil's harassment. It didn't work. We were on the right track. We were. We were on the right track, but I think we picked the wrong dialogue option. Can I reload and try again? I want to try again. Oh, wait a minute. There it is. I want to try a different dialogue option here. Yeah, let's try it. Name's Rufius. Better watch your step. All right, so here we go. Throwing threatening no Virgil. I know it was you. Yes. I'm gonna ask you to stop threatening him. And why should? If that's true. Why isn't the golden rule been broken? Your agitation is a bigger threat than Virgil's personal affairs. Well, I wouldn't get so angry if he wasn't so. You know. He just seems like a normal guy trying to keep to himself. What's your problem? Are you uncomfortable with your feelings towards him? I don't like where you're going with this. Ah! You'd better take that back before I make you. It must be difficult to be torn between your faith and your desire. I have ah! no idea. Ah! Wow, and that's why we found that the fucking carving of a big dick in his room. Because he is. Oh, shit. Wow, this is interesting. We're figuring it out now. All right, so that's cool, but still, it's not helping us. We got to find the right dialogue option. That wasn't it either. We're close to figuring this out. We're close. <laughs> Name's Rufius. Better watch your step. All right, here we go. No, I... Here we go. Yes. I'll ask you to stop threatening him. Golden rule. So here we go. The gods of Rome don't care about homosexuality. Why would they care about Virgil? There is only one. So here we go. Who is it that said do unto others as you would want them to do unto you? I am doing that. If I was about to get everyone else killed, 
I would want someone to stop me. How do you think the magic... Okay, I can't say that. It seems like nothing I say will change your mind. Smart. Ugh. Now get lost. We're done talking. Damn it. I have nothing to say uh, to you. It doesn't work matter. either. What do I do? What do I say to this guy? I've tried all these combinations, and none of them have worked. I can't threaten him with the magistrate. That doesn't work either. Jeez. Name's Rufi. No idea. Yes. And what? Let's say agitation again. Well, I wouldn't get so angry if he wasn't so. Maybe there's no way to do this. Why are you so angry? None of your business, Caput Merda. I won't pray any further. Smart. This doesn't work. There's no. I don't think you can do it yet. I think eventually you can do it, but I just don't know what you're supposed to do yet. Because I'm trying, trying, trying. There must be more to this. I don't know how we're going to figure that out, though. Damn. That sucks. I was hoping that I could solve it and then go talk to Virgil and get a reward or something. But it doesn't seem like it now. Now, where did the priestess go? They're still talking about the priestess. Did she go over here? Yes. Because I can talk to her about what I've discovered. Here we go. A new face, Ave, and may Vesta watch over you. I am Equitia. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? So here we go. I've been asking people how they wound up here trying to find a pattern. Interesting. I'm not sure why you're telling me, but you've come to the right person. Yes. Did you find a pattern then? What have you noticed? So, memory lapses. That's true. I know I wasn't entirely sure how I wound up here. What else? And encounter on a riverbank. Well, we'll say a river first. Yes. I understand many of our friends were carried here by a river current. What else? And then the riverbank, the uh, riverbank stranger. Hmm, yes. I also had such an encounter. It's as I feared. I think I understand what poor Livia has been going through. Let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Did you happen to encounter a stranger in the forest yes. before you arrived here? Yes, we did. A young woman. And did you happen to catch her name? Yes, Karen. I see. And was this Karen by any chance wearing a hood? She was wearing a hoodie. How would you have known that? Because I've seen her before. Ah! Uh -huh. something I think you should see. I think you'd better follow me to the bar. To the baths. It's not safe in there. An assassin just arrived. Uh... How could you know that? And why are you talking to me instead of doing something about it? Please, go and stop him and come back to me once we're no longer in danger. Okay, now I gotta find a way to stop the assassin. Then she'll take me to the baths to talk about what she's talking about. I'm gonna assume there's something in the baths, like a carving of that woman in a hood. And it's probably a god or something. Watch. Alright, now how do we stop the assassin? I guess we need to go talk to Septius. And see if Septius can stop the assassin. Oh, Alright, let's save. This is actually really good, man. I'm having so much fun playing this. Here's Septius. Citizen. We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? No, fuck off. I'm as holy as... And we had this conversation before. We have? Wait. If I understand correctly... Someone is about to break the golden rule, <laughs> forcing me to create a portal in time to bring you here. Right. I must have entrusted you with figuring out who the culprit is. Only, I assume we failed, and you had to start over. Is that about right? If so, what happened? So now we can tell him about the assassin. I couldn't stop it from being broken. Ah, I see. Look, it's unfortunate, but all that matters now is that you make use of what you've learned and gathered and do better next time. Now, I assume you'll sort me out again for a reason. 
Only guys, if it says, gee, will the ending be that you married your sister like the other game you played last year? Let's hope. Let's hope that's not the ending. All right, now, can we talk about who's going to break the golden rule? I'd like you to release Dooley. He's not going to say, he's not going to do it, but let's try this anyway. We haven't tried this yet. You mean Duilius? Releasing him is out of the question, I'm afraid. That man is a liability we simply cannot afford. Perhaps you're not aware he was caught multiple times, sneaking around in places he should not have been. What did he do? Look, I can <clears throat> see where you're going with this. You think me cruel. I assure you, that is not the case. You may not be aware of this, but it was not so long ago, during the Republic, the law of the Twelve Tables would have required that he be killed as soon as he was born. Wow. to his deformity. That's fucked up. Here, we Damn. see to it that he has food, water, and shelter. And, most importantly, he is able to continue living. A privilege that would be taken away from all of us were he to be released and commit the crime of trespass. The man has no self-discipline, poor comprehension of what is going on around him, and is an incorrigible rule-breaker. I will not jeopardize the lives of my people so that one man can go free. Wow. Now, was there something else? All right, let's do about, yeah, who's going to break the golden rule? Of course. What is it? I think I know who it is. Yes? The assassin who arrived in the city this morning. That's who I actually think it does it. Right. We've seen it happen firsthand. What? An assassin? What are you talking about? Apparently he was sent by Nero to assassinate someone in the city named Quin Quinctius. Then what are you doing here talking to me? Why aren't you out there trying to stop him? You'd best go. Quickly. As Magistrate, I hereby declare him an enemy of Rome and authorize his execution by your hand. Forthwith. How would I execute him? Any way you can. Despite my weapons ban, it's been my experience one can always find a weapon if one looks hard enough. So I have to, you're telling me to find a weapon. Won't that break the golden rule? I don't believe <clears> so, <throat> no. It's not a crime to carry out the lawful order of a magistrate. Ah. Don't you need to give him a trial first? So now you're an expert on Roman <laughs> law, are you? Listen to me. We are cut off from the Empire down here, fending for ourselves on the brink of annihilation. If ever there was a time to dispense with legal procedure, it would be now. Think of it as an act of preemptive self-defense. Think of the lives you'll be saving. Fair enough. I'll take care of it. Thank you. Please act quickly before it's too late. But the question is, how do I do it? I don't have a weapon. Right? You think if I talk to Maliolis and I tell him what's going on ahead of time, maybe he'll have a weapon or he'll give me a weapon to fight this guy? I don't know why the hell Septius didn't. What a dick. Give me something to fucking fight him with, asshole. Oh, let's figure it out. Father. No, you give me a weapon, fucker. Maliolus' bodyguard right there doing push-ups. So I have the key to come in here now. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. I am. Let's save and let's tell him what's going on. Delighted and deeply honored to have been elected. We don't know why his wife is upset yet. We haven't figured that much out yet. Yes. Thank you. Remember how Yulia died? It said that she was gonna die via hemlock. That she took and poison. <laughs> Right. And now, uh, I make this solemn promise to... <clears throat> Domitius doesn't usually let anyone in here without a hefty choice. Oh yeah, he does have a green eye and a blue eye. See me. His left eye is well, green and his right eye is blue. It's want? very hard to tell until you know about it. So he actually is the guy you're after. That's, or the guy that the, the assassin's after. Aw, oh, they, won't, they won't let me. I trust you can I see yourself I can't tell them out. about the assassin. That sucks. They won't let me uh, tell them about the assassin. That's, that sucks ass, actually. Maybe I could talk to his wife? Hmm. Oh, you meant Fabia? Fabia died by the cave-in. 
Could I lure him to the cave-in area, maybe? And have the cave-in kill him? That would be interesting. I guess we could try that, but I don't know how you would convince him to go to that shrine. I'm not supposed to be in here. I'll be going now. I should hope so. Man, it didn't work. She just, you can't talk to her. There's gotta be. She has to have something else to do with the Maliolus plotline later. There's nothing you can do with that right now. Uh, Rakdos Auger Mage tipped me a dollar fifty and says, "Great minds bleed alike." Gee, thanks for the tip. I have no idea what that means. Carlton Jr. did a dollar fifty tips. The recent reports say the current Call of Duty contract with Sony ends in 2023. That Call of Duty 2022, 2023, and Warzone 2 are playing during that time frame. It should be going to PlayStation. After that, it remains to be seen. Yeah, and the thing is, those contracts are done many years ahead of time. So even with Activision Blizzard being bought out totally by Microsoft, you're definitely going to see cross-platform Call of Duty for a while until maybe somewhere down the line it won't be anymore. But for now, yeah, it's not going anywhere. <clears throat> so what else? Hold on. What else can I do? Let me think about this. Hold on. We did the common thread, but we can't go to the to the bathhouse yet until the guy's dead. This is what I need to do, execute my suspect. We can we didn't figure this one out yet, how to stop him from killing himself. We don't know we don't know how to make him drop out of the election yet. We haven't found Lucretia, right? We haven't found her yet. In fact, I can't talk to her. We don't have the bow yet. We gotta find one. We haven't found a way into the palace yet because the front door is locked. We're, we tried to stop Virgil's harassment. It didn't work yet. We don't know how to get him elected yet. This, maybe we can figure this out. How to get to the upper cistern? I don't even know where the upper cistern is. Could the priestess help Livia, possibly? Yes, that's what we're working on, I think. All right, so we have to figure out how to neutralize the armed man. That's what we're trying to figure out right now. So how... Oh, yeah, look, you can climb up there. How, uh... How do I get back... to the armed man and then talk to him? I gotta figure this out how to get back there. Yeah, James, I figured as much. He says that the tip was a Magic the Gathering reference. I've been hearing that uh, there have been quite a lot of Magic the Gathering references recently on my streams. I just didn't realize it. Here we are. I just didn't realize it. But uh, apparently, yeah, there's there's someone who tips and always is referencing a Magic the Gathering card or something. Yeah. Okay. So now we know what's going to happen here. with this. If we can lure him here, he'll die. Help! You have to do something! Alright, here we go again. A man arrived in the baths. A real nasty sort, with his face all covered up. And he's got a weapon. You have to do something, or he's gonna break the golden rule. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. He's still in there, somewhere. I have to hide. Find me in this empty shrine when it's over. We have to tell her not to do that. Yep. Do not go in there. What? Why? Just trust me. <sighs> All right, um, okay. fine. Come and find me in my bakery instead. Please be careful. That worked. So she's going to go to her bakery. Achievement! Trickster. Save Fabia's life. All right. So now we get the assassin to go into the shrine and kill himself like an asshole. And then you know what? Then we'll get his bow. Holy shit. That's how we get the bow. We kill this asshole. All right. We're finally getting somewhere. Here we go. Stop right there. I am looking for Tiberius Quinctius Crispus, otherwise known as Quinctius. Do you know where he is? Yes. I saw him worshipping in a small round shrine just inside the city, second building on your left. Thank you. <laughs> for your service to the Empire, I'll let you live for now. But you'd best make sure our paths don't cross again. 
All right, shithead. Enjoy. We get to watch him get squished. This is funny as hell. Do, 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 do. Carl Judas is the worst assassin ever. He's the most gullible idiot ever. He's gonna go right in there. Oh my god, he's a moron. Filthy, lying, degenerate. What a fucking idiot. Yoink. Got the bow. Also, so by order of Emperor Nero, all loyal sons of Rome were ordered to hunt and execute the arsonist and murderer Tiberius Quint Quintius Crispus, a citizen from the Aventine district of Rome. He's about 40 to 50 years old, average height, average build, dark hair, one green eye, one blue eye, typically clean shaven. Delusions of grandeur. All right, he had one coin on him. Wow. Well, we've done it. So we have to ask Maliolus whether he's Quint Quintius. Interesting. Okay. See, now all this is coming together. If we talk to him and say, we know that you're someone who caused the fire in Rome, maybe he'll drop out of the election. Then we talk to the priestess. She comes over here and shows us more of the plot. This is all, this is all interesting. It's all coming together now. The Dirty Trollers did a super chat. Is this the guy that puts an arrow in your knee? Uh, he might have wanted to. But, uh, it didn't work out that way. Now he's just flat. <laughs> Very flat. And by the way, I, I must have hit cancel because it didn't save. What the hell? There we go. Okay. <clears throat> the assassin who had one, one coin on him. Alright, so let's save. And then let's go. I guess we should go, we talk to the priestess first. And then we'll talk to Maliolus. We have many things to do. We have a bow, but I'm not sure what to do with the bow. We have the bow, but I don't know what you use it for. Can we open the palace with it? Because remember when we were in front of the palace that was locked? That's when one of the statues said, hey, find a bow. And then we weren't we were able to figure out what to do with it. Hmm. What's up, D-Man Gaming? How's it going, man? Uh, James James says, I think the only issue I have is the game it makes me want to play it, but now I know the start of it. No, that's the thing with a game like this. Once you've played through it, I mean, you've seen everything, basically, right? There's no replayability in this. Okay. I take it you've cleared the way to the bath? Oh, yeah, the pancake Follow assassin me. is but done. Don't follow too closely. We can't have people thinking we're bathing together. Oh, my God. So I just press A, auto-follow, see? Auto-follow. <laughs> Maybe with the bow I can threaten Rufius, right? Maybe that's how you end it? You just threaten him with physical force? Like, dude, I'm gonna fucking kill your ass if you don't leave Virgil alone. Oh, you're absolutely right, James. The guy in the... He's absolutely right. The guy right here in the marketplace is the guy who wanted the bow. Okay. I forgot about that. I didn't even know you could follow. That's kind of cool. Auto follows for you. The graphics of this game are so good, right? The lighting and everything is excellent. So watch, she's gonna show me something that proves that there's a goddess or a god that looks just like that with the hood on. Okay. All right, you're here. You were asking how I knew the young woman you met by the river was wearing a hood. Here, look down at the bottom of the baths. It's a little hard to make out in this light. Uh huh. If only we could see the flashlight. Oh, what a marvelous lamp! But do you see it? 
somebody waking up by a river in a forest to find a hooded figure with a coin. With a coin? It's just as you described it. Only your pronunciation is a little off. The name you heard wasn't Karen. It was C H Charon. O N, as in Charon, the ferryman the of the dead. Charon, who, in exchange for the right coin, helps the souls of the newly deceased cross the Styx, oh, shit. The river that separates the land of the living from the land of the dead. They're all dead. When I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never going to wake up. I checked your pockets for ID, but all I found was some loose change. Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead-end job with an endless commute. Oh my god! I'm sorry if I sounded cagey, it's just that I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. My name's Karen. I'm so sorry, my wow. friend. Wow. I'm so, so sorry. I take it you know what this means. They're all dead. This place is the underworld. I'm afraid so. Wow. It's all starting to make sense. All these people whose last memory was running from the fires toward the river. They all died. It seems none of them escaped with their lives after all. Perhaps we should be grateful huh. they don't remember their final moments. It also tells us that the golden rule is the work of Pluto, the god of the underworld, and why his epithet has always been father of riches. I know it's a lot to take in, and you look as if you have questions. Uh. So. I'll try to answer them if I can. This is cool. Uh, so what can you tell me about Karen? Oh, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting you're not from <clears> here. <throat> if you were Roman or even Greek, you would know these stories. Each of them is slightly different. Whether the storyteller was Plato, Homer, Virgil, or Ovid. But they always involve the souls of the dead meeting a grim ferryman named Charon on the bank of a river. It was said that he'd help the new arrival cross only if they could pay him with a coin, an obol. That's why it was once our custom to bury our loved ones with a coin in their mouth. Oh shit, that's why they did it, huh? Obol, bury you with your riches to pay the course, ferryman. An obol was a kind of Greek coin because we inherited this knowledge from the Greeks. This is in very interesting. Wow. Why are there so few people here? Oh, why didn't you all recognize Karen immediately? To be fair, the ferryman isn't exactly as the poets described. And he, she, they, hmm. they seem to appear to different people in different guises. You say you saw a young woman named Karen with a hood. And I once heard Kabash mention a stranger in a, a ram, ram headdress, headdress named Kerti. And Rufius described meeting a stranger named Kamut Tabal wearing an eagle headdress. But whatever form this stranger took, they were always wearing a hood of some sort, huh. and their name always began with a K sound. Damn, that's interesting and cool. Good the writing. The only way you'll solve this riddle is if your paths cross again. Wow. Why are there so few people in the underworld? Good question. Let's see. In the stories, Charon would always require a coin as payment for passage across the river. But that never made any sense to me. What does an ancient immortal being need with coins? In our case, it seems Charon didn't take the coins we had. He or she merely checked we had one in our possession. So, maybe there's something special about the coins each of us had on us. And that might explain why we wound up here, but so many hmm. others did not. <clears throat> a qualifying characteristic of each person who ends up here? There's a reason why each one was selected, possibly? Like, they all have a role to play. This is kind of sound like Lost. You ever saw the television show Lost? Where they all end up on the island and later on all this kind of shit goes on. Oh, you were selected to be on the island for a specific reason. So we're dead. I'll, I'll see, you, see you later, Guts. You're dead. That was my first thought, too. In the old stories, the underworld was where the souls of the deceased were taken. But mm. it was also possible for the living to reach it without dying if they were particularly fearless. So, I'm afraid I don't know. And then, were you trying to keep this from me? No. I mean, I had my suspicions, especially after Livia's rambling. Can we talk to Livia now? I would never have figured it out without your help. I promise you. I guess that's all I have. Okay. Now that we know where we are, we have to figure out what to do about it. If we don't want to be cast into gold for eternity. 
We don't have much to go on, except the old stories. I remember four in particular about heroes in the underworld. Hmm. Hercules, the demigod and son of Jupiter. Orpheus, a Thracian poet. Sisyphus, a king of Ephyra. And Aeneas, a Trojan hero. Hercules was able to leave the underworld because he cowed its god with his strength. Sisyphus and Orpheus both relied on their wits instead. They persuaded the goddess of the underworld, Proserpina, to help them escape. And finally, Aeneas was able to escape with the help of a spirit guide, who led him through a secret gate. Huh. So it seems you have two options. To confront the god of the underworld head on, or find a way to escape with the help of Proserpina or some other guide. There must be multiple ways to beat this game then. That's cool. Uh, Niku says it reminds me of the Cube movies. People wake up in a trap and have different backgrounds. Don't know how they got there and why. Yeah, I remember. I saw uh, two of those Cube movies actually over the years. So yeah, I, I definitely see that comparison. I know you seem uncomfortable calling the God of the Underworld by his name. Why is that? All Romans <clears throat> try to avoid saying it. And the reason is quite simple. He might hear us. Uh -huh. You may refer to him as Pluto if you wish. But you'll only be calling attention to yourself. Do so at your own peril. Okay. Tell me more about confronting Pluto head on. Shh. Is everyone so blunt where <laughs> you're from? Oh. That option would be the boldest, but also the only way to learn the truth about the Golden Rule and maybe even put an end to it. As I said, Hercules managed to overpower the god of the underworld, but he was a demigod. Forgive my candor, but you are no Hercules. Uh, how dare you? Ah, Hercules couldn't manipulate time. Are you telling me that you can? Yes. I won't pretend to understand uh. exactly what that means, but if that's true, then perhaps you stand a chance. So, if you want to confront him, I'll help you as much as I can. Who knows? Perhaps your name will be uttered in the same sentence as Hercules one day. Likely but it's going to be time manipulation that lets you beat him. You audience with you know who, and for that, you'll need to enter the great temple overlooking the city. The problem is, the door has been sealed shut for as long as I've lived here, and there doesn't even seem to be a keyhole. I suspect the answer lies in the desecrated obelisk in front of it. I'm not sure if you noticed, but there are four plaques missing from its base. Oh, I didn't even see any it of this. It looks as though somebody, huh. or a series of somebodies, forcibly removed them, and in doing so, dishonored and angered our divine keeper. If you could recover and replace all four of those missing plaques, I imagine he might be willing to receive an audience again. What can you tell me about the obelisk? It's the towering stone monument with four sides and a pyramid-shaped head that stands before the great temple. A dedication to the god. How did I not see place. this? You'll find them all over Rome. But of course they were looted from Egypt many years ago. It seems one of them made its way here too, although how is a mystery. However, this one is unusual in that each of the four sides is decorated in a different style. Oh. Roman, Greek, Egyptian, and another I don't recognize. That means you will need to recover four different plaques. Roman, Greek, Egyptian, and a fourth, a mystery plaque. Damn. <laughs> it's getting so complicated, right? Any cool achievements unlocked? I mean, we unlocked a few today, but nothing super cool or anything. It was just more about plot development, right? All right. Mystery plaque. Ask about that first. I'm afraid you're on your own with that one. But perhaps finding the other three will illuminate the way. Okay. Egyptian. Perhaps Kabash, our Egyptian resident, will be able to tell us. Unfortunately, he disappeared weeks ago. Right, he was supposed to be the fisherman. But I did hear Aurelia is peddling rumors about him at the tavern. So, perhaps you could talk to her. Or just take a look in his room. I did take a look in his room. There was a carving in there, but it didn't really tell us anything. But then again, we didn't know we were looking for anything, right? All right, the Greek plaque. I don't know. But perhaps you should begin your search with the local Greek fellow, Georgius. His store is in the forum. Ask Dooley about the Greek plaque? Why Dooley? Why would we ask Dooley about it? And then Roman plaque. Good question. 
To answer that, we first need to ask who would have defaced the obelisk in the first place. It would have had the gods Rufius. engraved into it. So it may be that whoever desecrated it wanted that name to be forgotten. Or Maliolis. And there's only <clears throat> one group of people I know of who might want to do that. The Christians. There's a cult in yep. Rome that often argued there is only one true god. Aha. Uh -huh. Theirs, of course. They've been known to start fires, as well as deface religious monuments whose existence challenged their beliefs. If I were you, I'd go looking for them. Of course, they've all been in hiding since the fire last year, uh -huh. so finding them won't be easy. So... But I did hear a rumor. They have a secret shrine somewhere in the I city. think we found it. We just couldn't open it. The, if you the gate was find closed. That, you might be able to recover the Roman plaque. You know what maybe you need to do? Grab that bread that's right outside the door. One of them will come running out of the gate. Go in, grab the plaque, reset the day. Now you have the plaque. I think that's what it is. I don't think there's a way in there besides triggering that. Tell me more about escaping with the help of Proserpina or a guide. There's so much to As do I here. Mentioned, both Orpheus and Sisyphus were said to have persuaded Proserpina to help them escape. Mm. And Aeneas was guided to the exit. The problem is... Those are the stories of a poet, a self-aggrandizing king, and a brawler about their own heroic deeds. So they should be taken with a grain of salt. First, Proserpina. What we do know about her is, well, it's a grim tale. It's said the god of the underworld abducted and dragged her here against her will, forcing her into marriage. Oh, nice. That's a, that's a very common theme, I think, in... Uh some of the, the ancient religious lore of how the gods would, would act. Seriously. Evil Shadow Ninja says, depending on which of the different methods and ways you decide to escape, it depends on what ending you get. Gotcha. It's it's simply, Eddie says, maybe the final plaque is Norse mythology? Maybe. That's actually a good guess. That could be one of the big ones, for sure. It's freaking Thor. So she might be willing to work against him to help us. If the stories are true, then I suppose so. The problem is... How do we communicate with her without being noticed by her captor? Leaving that aside for a moment, there is also the possibility of a spirit guide. I don't suppose you've come across one of those in your travels? I heard the female statues whispering to me every now and then. Truly? <laughs> and you're only bringing this up now? <laughs> then again, I suppose you were worried I'd think you were as mad as Navia. Can you tell me more? Is it the same voice? What kinds of thing does it say? Carl Jr. says, This is a sad fate for people in here that don't worship Greek gods. Well, yeah, imagine if. What if you were like a Christian or a Muslim or Hindu or, you know, anyone who doesn't you know, believe in the Greek gods and then you end up here. Well, fuck, we were all wrong. We're, we're you know, we're stuck in here and the, the Greek gods obviously were correct because here we are in the afterlife, right? Damn. Then again, a lot of these religions all have very common themes. And like like we already said, Greek and, Ro and Roman, very similar. And in fact, there's a lot of common themes and things that carry between them all. So I guess you could argue that they all are similar and maybe you're just a little off. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> so it's always the same voice and she's helpful if a little cryptic. Fascinating. Perhaps she's a benevolent spirit. Or perhaps... Hmm. Perhaps... You're hearing the voice of Proserpina herself. Oh shit, you think that's if what it is? If she has indeed been abducted, it would make sense for her to speak in cryptic whispers to avoid detection. Oh wow. Tell me, has she told you anything that might lead you to the way out? She told me quite a few things. She told me to get the bow. That was one of the big ones, get the bow. Not yet. Oh, I see. Well, let me know if you hear anything that might be a thread through this labyrinth. And they told me to talk to her. Can we escape the way we came in? It's a reasonable question. <laughs> but the problem is, this place is fairly well designed to keep us here. There's no way to climb up the shaft. And even if you could build a ladder big enough, just trying it would break the golden rule. We know that, thanks to the writings left behind by those who've tried. Hmm. Uh, Niku says, I meant to ask earlier, but what do you think about them forgetting that you talked to them in the previous time loop? Is it annoying or does the dialogue work yourself out after you talk a few times? No, it's good. All you can say is, oh, I already talked to you, and usually it changes the dialogue around. You don't have to repeat the same dialogue, really. Like, I've been going through it, and it hasn't been an issue. So that's good. Um, Chicken Man took me a dollar, but he said, 
Average food prices are up 6.5% in the last year. Biggest increase since World War II. It's sad, yet we are still making the same money. It's actually way worse than that. I think it's regional. And I think it depends on what you're buying. I've definitely seen overall cost go up. You know what it is, too? It's not just food. It's everything. Commodities. Like, like seriously, I used to be able, be able to pack, like, buy a pack of toilet paper for a certain amount of money, buy a pack of paper towels. Now they're, like, 20, 30% more. Like, I remember buying paper towels for, like, 10 to 15 bucks. Now they're the cheapest I can find is 20, if not more. So, anyway, I'm ready to get started. All right. I would suggest not discussing this with anyone. The best we can do for them is to let them remain oblivious for as long as possible. As for Livia, it <sighs> yeah. seems she's been shouldering the weight of this terrible secret all this time. Perhaps it would comfort her to know she's not alone. Okay. So, you have to choose, but not really. All it does is it prioritizes the quest, see? I think we'll talk with Livia first, because I don't know what I want to do. Do I want to get the plaques and then confront uh, the god of the underworld? Or do I want to actually listen to Proserpina's whispers and get clues that way? I'm not sure yet. Let's talk to Livia first. In any case, time is of the essence, so you'd best begin. Yeah. May Fortuna guide you. Although you may not need her with Proserpina on your side. Okay. Well, that was certainly an interesting development, to say the freaking least. Wow. Now we know what's going on. What a... Whoa. I was not intending to have this equipped. How do I... Can I unequip this? No. I think the bow stays equipped. Which is weird, because... Wait a minute, I was just going to say, because the law says you don't need to be... No, the law says you can't be armed, but... the What's his name? Se Setius? Septius? Said that I could be. Always remember they're watching. Right? He said I could be armed to take out the assassin. Did you hear that? Wait against the current? You heard that, right? Wait against the current. So I guess now I can use the bow. Ellipsian says, let me say, there's one true ending, three extra endings, you can get them all in one playthrough. Well, that's because you can do alternate save files, right? That's what I'm thinking. That's right. See, James says she mentioned the story of Hades and Persephone, essentially. Exactly, only they call it Pluto and Perse Persephone or whatever. Perse Persephone. Perse Perse uh, pre precipitation. Let's go talk to Livia. Oops. Ixian turns. Here we go. Just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls. That's but right. It does not notice the crowds that come. I figured it out. I know where we are. Say it. Speak its name. The underworld. Then it is true. <laughs> I was right. You were. I thought... I thought I saw it, but when the rest of them could not, I kept thinking I must have gone insane. No, no, go take a fucking shower. For I had God to sakes. tell myself it was true over and over again, until I wasn't sure if I was deceiving myself. I, I must apologize if my words seem cryptic. I'd found comfort in reciting the Metamorphoses by our great poet Ovid. He gives such an uncanny description of this place. I cannot help but wonder if he himself came here. Would you like to hear it? Oh, really? So this is from the poet Ovid. Yeah, let's listen to it. Listen to what the poet said about the underworld. I will do my best to remember the relevant verse. There is a downward path, gloomy with fatal yew trees. 
It leads through dumb silence to the infernal regions. The sluggish Styx exhales vapor, and by that way, the shadows of the newly dead descend, entombed with full rites, and the ghosts of those, at last, given proper burial. The wide, thorny waste is cold and pallid, and the newly arrived shades are ignorant of the road that leads to the Stygian city, where Black Dis has his cruel palace. As the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls, and is never too small for any populace, nor notices the crowds that come. There the bloodless shadows wander Sorry. without flesh or bone. <laughs> some crowd the forum, some the house of the ruler of the depths. Others follow their trades, imitating their previous lives. And still others incur It sounds punishment. exactly like this place. I hope yep. I have done it justice. And now we share a secret. It's as if you've lifted a great burden from my shoulders. Thank you, friend. I think I should rest. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's it. Need resolve. Bleh. Grass in there. So one of... Put that away. I guess it left on the D-pad. Look, this cycles through stuff. Holy shit, everyone's here. What the heck? Fortune smile on you, brother. Everyone is here. That's interesting. I didn't know that they all come at night to hang out, but apparently they all I do. I love your clothes. So exotic. What now? Don't you just love springtime? Why didn't you give me his name? Who are you gonna vote for? Not that it's any of your business. But my loyalty never is told me his and name. always will be with Sentius. <laughs> Unfortunately. I don't think my vote is going to make any difference today. See, Domitius has been going around town, shoring up votes for Maliolus with lies, bribery, and intimidation. The man's a savage, but he's a gladiator, so people fear and respect him more than they should. Sentius knows about it, of course, but he doesn't have the same rat cunning as Maliolus. Rat cunning. This place will be different with that sleaze of a home. But I try not to worry about things I can't change. So weird he didn't tell me his name yet. Uh, Haseo X4 just sent me $6.66 and says, Hey, Phil, happy to say I'm now COVID negative. I can return to work. Thanks for uh, thanks for the streams uh, that I did when I was self-quarantining. You're welcome, man. And you know what? It's been nice to have you around the streams. It's a shame we won't have you around as much. But you've been a, a great viewer, a great you know, uh, person to interact with on the streams. And I'm glad to hear that you're better. And uh, I hope that you have a safe return to work and hopefully you stay healthy. <clears throat> Nathan Smith did a super chat. How you doing? Doing good today, Nathan. Thank you for asking. Welcome to the tail end of the stream because I'm only here for a few more minutes. And thank you for the super chat. Oops. <laughs> extra, an extra character there. What? The, what? There's weird stuff going on here. There we go. I think I think my keyboard's haunted. I really do. Okay. Cool. Can I help? I appreciate the thought. <laughs> but you're new here. And I just can't see how you could make an impact in the time between now and the election this afternoon. You can't, huh? In any case, if you're interested in the election, go and have a chat with Equitia, the Vestal Priestess. She'll be overseeing proceedings. It's funny. Meow Meow says this game's only supposed to be five hours. Yeah, but you see, if you take your time with the game and you enjoy it and you're talking with an audience about it, it's much longer than these people who just literally play through and rush through. And I mean that, too. Like, if you're playing by yourself, you're just turboing through the dialogue. Oh, I'm going to do this, do that, do that, do that. You don't realize how much more just having a discussion about a game as you're playing it can add to the game experience, but also add to the length of the game. So. All right. All right. What's hilarious is we still know his fucking name. He's still Stranger. Who is this asshole? <laughs> so... The only other thing right now that I can think of to do, because we only have a few minutes left, okay? One of the quests that we have is... Where is it?
figure out how to get into the upper cistern. Water under the bridge is the name of the quest. And while we were listening to the whisper, it said swim upstream or swim against the current. So with that being said, swim against the current. The current of the water down there. Right? I think they want us to jump into the water and swim into the current of the water. I just want to find a place we can do that and not be sure we don't die along the way. Okay. We actually didn't come down. Wait a minute. Now that's a woman. I was going to say the fisherman. Remember they had referenced a fisherman who went missing? Right? Fisherman who went missing. Young Coconut did a $2 super jazz. Says, show your vaccine card. I'll tip 100 right now. I can't show you the vaccine card because it's actually in my car. I purposely leave it in there so if anyone wants to see the physical card, uh, it's there. But, um, what the? Now my fucking keyboard stopped working. So I don't have the physical card on me, but I do have a, a picture of it that I keep in my phone so that when I'm out and about, yogurt, I was typing yogurt. <laughs> I was typing yogurt. But anyway, I have a picture of it in my phone. I would show it to you, but undoubtedly what people would do is probably use it for a method of harassment of some part. I'm serious. People would find a way. So all I can do, if you really want me to do this, by the way, I don't think he's going to tip me. I can just show you that from very far away, here's the picture of the vaccine card. And I actually had to take it in late October because we didn't have a mandate to need this card until late October. But then in late October, that's when it went into effect here in Washington State. Whoa, did you see that graphical glitch? In Washington State, you had to have this card or else you couldn't get into restaurants, you couldn't get into certain venues and stuff. So there it is, there's a picture of it. But I'm not gonna show it up close or nothing because I just don't want, I know, I'm smarter. I'm much smarter than that, seriously. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> anyway. No, the guy's not going to tip me. He's full of crap. All right. Uh, I'm going to go in the water. Let's save. I'm going to jump in the water. And I'm going to see if we swim in the water what happens. So he said swim against the current, right? Well, I can't swim there because it's blocked. Is there another place I can swim? Can I go... Oh, is there a cave, maybe? Not that I can see. This is how it's... I guess... Oh! There's something here. There's definitely something here. There's an item up there that I need to get. But I can't get it yet, and I'm not sure how to climb. I almost feel like... You can... I almost feel like there's a way to climb this, but I don't know what it is yet. Anytime you see those butterflies, it means there's something that's going to happen later. Because there's definitely an item up there. But, no, I can't do this yet. Is there something underwater? Oh, there's a statue. Look at that. Oh, an apple. Underworld Explorer. Uncover discovering Underworld Icon Sisyphus, Tatalus, Ixian. I found them all. I definitely found Sisyphus, right? Sisyphus was the one with the, with the rock. I guess this is another one of them. The guy reaching for the apple. So apparently I found them all. I, I'm only aware of two, that guy and Sisyphus. I didn't know that... I had found the other two, but apparently some of the statues I found were unique statues that led to that achievement. Okay, so sadly, this didn't really help me, right? Oh, Big Papa Phil, exactly right. 
He goes, trolls tried to attack you over a coffee machine. So I'm sure they try to find a way to weaponize your vaccine card against you. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely positively fucking right, which is why I'm not stupid. I'm not gonna fucking go any further than what I just did. Yo, it's dark here. He's also pointing at the water. Maybe, okay, go against the current. You gotta go all the way up to the top. You have to find a way to go all the way up to the top of the waterfall. That's what it is. Hello. Hello, goat. Here's the eggs again. The goose eggs. Now I have double goose eggs. What's funny is you see those eggs. Did you ever see the goose? We never saw the goose. So I gotta find a way up there. Ah. Haseo X says maybe you need the ocarina. You play the song of storms and rises up the water. Like that before. Remarkable. <laughs> yeah, we gotta go up there and go through the water at the top. Now, how do we climb up there? I mean, we can go up to some extent here. But I don't know if we can go all the way up this way. We found this already. I think we just gotta keep climbing up. How do we get higher than this? Maybe it's the other staircase. Just keep going up. Okay. One of these ways goes to the Christian headquarters, which we can't do anything with because it's locked. But like I said, if I break the rules, the golden rule, then they run out of there, and then maybe I can get inside and get that plaque. Nathan Smith says, I missed the super chat. I'm sorry, man. He says, you start Sniper Elite 4 and Sniper Elite 5 gets announced. Did it? Did it actually get announced? I heard that it was already in production. We knew it was being made, but I hadn't heard a formal announcement about it. Okay, now wait a minute. Here I am. The waterfall's over there. So this is the correct way. Yeah, here we are. That's the temple where... Okay, you do the ceremony. Is this it right here? It's right there. It's below me. Okay. Okay. So I think I have to jump down here. We can try it. Ready? No? Well, I guess not. Son of a bitch. Unless it's one more down. No. Really? Oh, man. I really seemed like this was it. It really seemed like this is what they were telling us to do. I'm actually kind of disappointed this isn't it now. The recluse of the Super Jet saying, what's a dust box? I have no idea. What's a dust box? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, man. I really thought I was onto something. No. I just cut, I just went through the whole waterfall and there's nothing there. Man. That's disappointing. Ugh. Man, and now we know we gotta go over there. We saw the butterflies over there. What we really need to figure out is how do you climb the vines? Right? And how do we do some of these things? See, they're pointing. And that's one of the ones I had to get for the achievement. But there's got to be... All right, here's what we're going to do, guys. Let's save up. Wait, Carlton Jr. says, try literally under the bridge. No, we just did. 
We just did water under the bridge. We went under there and you couldn't go there. You can't do it here, see? And then right here, we were just here. You can't. It's a dead end. See? You can't. It's blocked off by a bunch of rocks. See? There's nothing here. If these rocks weren't here, then yeah, but the rocks are in the way. You can't get through. It looks like maybe you should be able to, but you can't. Pinocchio says, I got caught up. I forgot City 1 and 2 last night. I'm ready to watch more videos on demand. I'm going to upload them right away. No worries. Yeah, there is no way to do this, from what I can see. See? Well, all blocked. Darn. Well, we tried. All right, guys. Let's look at the land and save. Nothing here. Nope. Nope. So weird because that's what the voice is saying. It says go against the current. And we just went, you know, with all the water. And that's pretty much unless. Wait a minute. No. If I go down there, I'm going to die. That's way too deep. Right? There's no way that they would want me to go all the way down there. That's got to be death if you try to jump down there. Seriously, there's no way you survive going all the way down there. So that can't be it. Stream crashing? Oh. Uh, no, it still shows it's going. The stream is still showing it's going for me. No, that's death down there. There's no fucking way. It's too deep. can dive in if you want, but nah, there's no way. That's death. You see, it's not even rendered down there. Huh. Alright, I guess we'll save up here. Alright, and uh, next time around, we'll resume from here and try to figure out what to do. We have many different leads of things to do, right? So we'll try to have to figure it out. Cool. Cool.